Welcome to this tutorial on phase and polarity. Phase and polarity have important implications for audio interconnection. They can be the cause of problems and the solution and they also have creative applications. A basic understanding is essential for all Project Studio owners. Phase refers to the timing relationship between two or more signals. If you record an acoustic guitar with multiple microphones at differing distances, the signals they produce, whilst being of the same performance, will have different phase relationships because the sound waves reach the microphones at different times. As we will see, this can cause problems. When two identical sound wave signals meet, they produce a wave that is the sum of their amplitudes, stronger and louder. This is a useful property and one of the advantages of balanced signal transmission. This is true for air pressure sound waves and electrical and digital sound waves in an electronic audio system such as a studio. If one of the sound wave signals is the mirror image of the other, or delayed in time by half a wavelength, they are said to be out of phase and completely cancel each other out. This too is a useful property and exploited by balanced signal transmission. These phase relationships can be expressed more precisely in degrees. Two in-phase signals are said to have a phase relationship of zero degrees, whilst two completely out-of-phase signals have a phase relationship of 180 degrees. Phase relationships can cause serious problems in the project studio such as reflected sound in a room where recording or monitoring is taking place as waves reflecting around the room meet and interact thus altering the true level of the recorded sound waves. Stereo loudspeakers not placed equidistant from the monitoring position. Multiple miking of a single source. Latency in digital signals particularly doors where multiple channels are rooted in complex ways. Latency issues, sending returning signals in and out of doors. And related leads of differing lengths, such as loudspeaker leads which are not the same length. Consider a snare drum that is being close mic'd from the top and underneath. Each mic hears a different tonal aspect of the overall timbre. When the drum is hit, the air pressure on top will drop as the skin moves away from the mic but underneath the pressure increases as the skin moves towards the mic. Therefore the signals produced by the mics will be 180 degrees out of phase with each other and when mixed together cancelling of common harmonics will occur. The solution is to use the phase button on one of the mic preamps to invert the phase of one of the signals. Despite being called phase buttons they function as polarity reverse controls. Polarity is a property of individual signals. Almost all audio leads are in effect a circuit requiring at least two wires, positive and negative. For example, if you reverse these wires in a line level signal coming from a monophonic synthesizer, you will reverse the polarity of the signal. This will have no audible effect. If it were a stereo synthesizer and you reverse the polarity of the left output but not the right, the two signals would be out of phase with each other. In this case, because the left and right outputs share some frequencies, there may be an audible effect, a changing of the timbre of the sound. Often, the phase relationship between signals can be somewhere between in phase and out of phase. This can happen for many reasons.
recording acoustic guitar with two microphones is a good way to get a full stereo sound. And one thing that many people like to do is to have one microphone pointing very close to the neck to pick up the zing of the guitar and another one further away to pick up the bloom and the body of the guitar. Now we've got two identical microphones here but this one being much closer to the guitar is going to receive the sound wave much earlier than this one over here. And that can present some phase relationship problems when we mix those two channels together in our door. Now an engineer would normally wear a pair of headphones and listen to the feed from these microphones as they were setting them up, listening to the performer playing. And when they do that, they will find that there is a balance between the kind of sound they want and the phase issues that occur between these two microphones. Now, we can't simply polarity reverse one of these microphones to solve those issues because the phase issues are more complex. Some of the harmonics in the waves are going to cancel, some of them are going to sum, some of them aren't going to interfere at all, and some of them are going to do something in between those two extremes of cancelling and summing. It's absolutely essential that your loudspeaker monitors are equidistant from the listening position. Now in project studios we generally monitor in the near field using smaller monitors and therefore you want to have both speakers, the left and the right, uh, the same distance away from your head. The tweeters should be approximately in line with your ears. Now if you have one loudspeaker closer than the other that means that the sound wave from it is going to arrive at your ears sooner. Now that's a problem if you've got sounds that are panned to the centre of the stereo stage, so maybe a snare drum or a lead vocal, because that sound is going to come out of both the left and the right loudspeakers, and you don't want there to be any phase issues as those sound waves arrive at different times. So just ensure that the loudspeakers are absolutely equidistant and you should have no problems. Phase issues are not always a problem. Phase relationships help us place a sound in a room and can therefore be an important part of a recording. Also, if the polarity of a single signal is reversed, there will be no audible effect. On the other hand, having the polarity of one of your monitor speakers reversed is almost certainly going to be a big problem. If you follow these simple rules, you can use your ears to decide if phase is a problem when using microphones and mixing. One, ensure your monitor loudspeakers have correct polarity and are equidistant from the monitoring position. Two, ensure the polarity of all interconnects and leads is correct. Three, ensure that lead lengths for stereo and multi-channel connections are consistent. Four, Take measures to ensure sound wave reflections in your studio are minimised, absorbed and randomised. And five, enable latency compensation in your door. The script for this tutorial, with accompanying screenshots, can be found at projectstudiohandbook.com. And finally, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or at the website to get instant notification of new videos as they are uploaded. And please do click on the ads of interest to you. We're a free resource and they help to pay our costs. Thanks very much for watching.